going on ladies and gents welcome back to another episode it is your boy jnark and today we have the bye week uh we beat the buccaneers uh last game 30 to 24 in ot uh we're now seven and two while the bucks are eight and one they're still probably number one in the the league but we have a 99 offense that you guys saw and there's not really much moves we have to do you know like look 99 offense 95 defense so let's discuss our plan for this for this bye week, right? So team bonding, stay grinding, self scouting. Let's just do team bonding. I mean, boost morale and awareness because we're just we're here to just we kept a lot of our players back, like we retained a lot of our players, and so we're gonna see we want to get revenge, you know, we want to get back into the the hunt for the Super Bowl. So that that's just what that's just what we're doing here. This like just getting back into business and. We're gonna be facing the Cardinals, who are six and four, but I'm not too worried. They have Will Anderson. He's a pretty good player. He's really good, actually. Not just pretty good, but in all honesty, I believe we'll make the playoffs. We're not gonna have to worry about much. So I'm gonna take the big risk and send us to the playoffs. Eleven minutes later. So we ended up going 13 and four. We're gonna be facing the Lions in the first round of the playoffs, and. Um, I'm a bit shocked that we didn't go all the way as expected. But, I mean, not all the way, but like leaning like number one. So we were 7 2, finished off 13 and 4, so not bad at all. I'm mean, look at the playoff bracket. So, number one seed still went to Buccaneers. So, they probably, if we went 14 and 3, they either went 15 and 2 or 16 and 1. And I want to see the stats. So Saquon was second in yards and carries and all that good stuff interception so we guys are re really weren't up there but stats we were our offense was second cj strew 39 passing touchdowns third in the nfl 4.5k passing yards our defense was ninth saquon was sixth in rushing tds 39 touchdowns seven picks for cj he had a 70 completion percentage with a 122 passer rating and only got sacked 17 times wow that is phenomenal and guess what saquon did not fumble once this season that is great George Pickens, 84 catches, 1,400 yards, 15 touchdowns. Josh Downs had a down year in a sense, but still nonetheless, he's pretty good. He only His longest reception was 30 yards. That's kind of surprising. Elijah Moore bounced back with 65 catches, 919 yards, 10 touchdowns. Not bad whatsoever. Defense. So our defense was ranked ninth this year. I don't think we had that many sacks. We did not. It was a, kind of a down year, surprisingly. But defense is still solid as it is. Justin Herbert had a bit more passing yards, less, more interceptions, and less touchdowns, but still nonetheless, they, they did really good. They had 2,000-yard receivers, and I'm sure the defense was not letting up at all. So we've got, we've got a tough one on our hands, but we're facing the Lions. I'm, I'm on Ross St. Brown, and um, let's uh, handle business. So we're in the red zone already. Detroit already has like two turnovers, so let's, let's uh, set the tone here. Ah, Saquon, push forward more. Push forward more. Let's see if we can hit Tucker Craft here. I, I like him. Boom. Play action. Oh, my gosh. I honestly thought he was going to run down and get himself open, but I guess not. <laughs> so that's on me for that interception. I, I get it. I'm going to come back. Regardless, we're going to have three points. Nonetheless, if Saquon picks it up. Oh, my gosh. He trucked him, but does he get past? He does not. He does not. I think we have to go for it here. I think we do have to go for it. And I think our defense or our offense line can definitely help us pick this pick this up. But I see that we're missing our right tackle because I see Matt Pert is back in the starting lineup. Oh, Evan Neal could just never stay healthy from the looks of it. And that's a bit of a concern. He has health problems. Oh, I didn't know he was going to stop right there. Um, let's, just, let's just punch this in. I just want to punch this in. Omaha. Boom. Is he gonna? Yes. Saquon gets the first touchdown of the playoffs in the fourth year. Woo! Yo, apparently we missed the PAT. And we're down 6 7. But here we are, second in inches. We have no timeouts. Oh, wow. What a dot. Ooh! CJ just. He just flicked it just like that. That was just way too easy. Josh Downs gonna come alive for me here because they're gonna cover the other boys. Can I sneak it in? Oh, but whoever that was tried to. He tried to make the play that I wanted, wanted uh, uh, Josh Downs to make. So he, he tried to steal the show here. Irv Smith, one-on-one. -on -one. 
one on one. That's too easy. They they were they were so backed up in the zone. Like, come on, dump it off. Saquon. Oh my gosh, he puts him on his. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Saquon just leveling these kids. Bro, we haven't even played a lick of off uh, defense yet, and we're up 42-10. So we're just blasting them at the curb. Like, oh, that's a third pick. Okay, well, Antonio Johnson's got two picks. He, he was balling. He was balling, but that's pretty much game, my friend. 42-17, pretty much whooped them. Lots of interceptions from, oh, I forgot Jalen Hurts is on the lines, but he had two interceptions. We had three. CJ had through four touchdowns, though, so it didn't even matter. Saquon went off, 14 carries, 167 yards, two touchdowns. He's having a phenomenal year. So it didn't really matter that we were just giving up all these plays. Sauce had two picks. Montez Sweat had two sacks. Dexter Lawrence had a sack. So our guys our guys were ready for revenge. They, they were hungry for it. So that's a, that's, a, that's a good first game of the playoffs. Oh, yeah, Sauce. Oh, yeah, Sauce. Good breakup on that pass. We have a third and two here. We want to make sure that with the absence of a Roshan Johnson, our backs can still do the, their thing. Boom. Good catch by George Pickens to pick up the first down. We have another third down here. Maybe Saquon or Josh Downs could possibly get open. Let's see. I think it's got to be Saquon. Oh, wait. That that defender played that well, but it was a flag on the play. So maybe, maybe roughing the passer. Yes, roughing the passer. We got a rough and fast called. Wow. Okay, we'll take that. It gives us a whole new set of downs. And as it looks like, they want us to give a touchdown to Irv Smith Jr. I think it's fair that we do so. Boom. Yep, there you there you have it. <laughs> Alright, so just like we are spanking <laughs> the Panthers. George Pickens is on fire. I don't even know his um George Pickens consecutive pass is not targeted. Improved catching on deep uh Oh man, I didn't realize we were, the thing was ticking away. He don't, he doesn't, he won't not get tackled for a loss, which he did not get tackled for. And he's balling this game. I mean, all, all of our guys are always balling and stuff. So, CJ Strood on the run on fourth and three. This guy is incredible. Man, what what a problem. Bruh. Yeah, I tried to force it to George Pickens. Not a good idea. Waste of a drive. <laughs> they really ran it on fourth down. On fourth and inches, they ran it to try to get closer. And they still ended up losing 38 to 20. I mean, Davis Mills, I respect the effort. CJ Stewart went sick. I just threw the stupid interception, but he had a great game. 14 carries, 105 yards, one touchdown for Saquon Barkley. The Panthers also have Aaron Jones, too, who was having a pretty solid game, but... It, come on, let's be honest. Like my team is just unstoppable. Derek Brown had two sacks. Kayvon was going off. Montez went off. Like our guys are here to make plays. Even Kayvon had a pick. He had a one and a half sacks and a pick. Like let's head into the conference championship. So in the conference championship, we will be facing against Justin Herbert and the Tampa Bay Bucks. They're out for revenge. It's always us two. And what better way to go against when it's we got the Chiefs and the Colts in the other division? And Chiefs, man, we faced them twice before, so it'll be interesting to see how this is going to play out. But Justin Herbert is here to take his team to the chip, and we're here back for blood to get revenge for losing that Super Bowl last year. Next episode is going to be a big one as um, winner goes to the Super Bowl. So hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, comment down below if you like to see on the channel. It's been a pleasure, my guys. See you in the next one. And remember, you got to be a fiend to succeed. Peace.